Welcome everyone. Today we're going to review a software called Synthesia. For those who don't know what Synthesia is, this is an AI power video generator that can help you save a lot of time, create video in a very short amount of time. You don't need to spend a lot of money hiring actors, uh, getting expensive equipment. This is all done on softwares. So we're now on their website. Let's just play a quick video how this actually works. So scrolling on the website, you can see they've got some really big, big clients using their platform, Johnson & Johnson, Amazon, Accenture, BBC. So like I said before, like goodbye to the cameras, microphones, actors. You don't need to like hire expensive third parties, uh, rent equipments. You just need to pay a monthly fee Everything is web-based. You can do all the recordings. You can generate scripts, uh, use AI avatars in your video. And you can use their own sort of like ChatGPT to create the script even. So it's really handy. Everything is on one single platform. They've got stock images, stock videos you can use. And there are plenty of different AI avatars. Uh, there are plenty of AI avatars you can choose. As you can see, they've got over 120 different languages. And the best thing is they are using uh, a lot of different libraries on these AI voices. And some of them are actually really realistic. So who actually would need to use Synthesia? So some of the use case would be for uh, learning development. You want to create training videos. You don't want to be on camera. So you can use these AI avatars to be your own sort of some spokesperson in, in your business. You can do it for sales, creating like really customized uh, sales training videos. It could be even running like sales funnel to create like very de dedicated uh, video sales scripts. This could be for IT security, doing technical trainings, as well as for customer service and definitely for marketing. So right now we're going to play some of these AI avatars and hear their voice and their faces to see how realistic it is. Hey, I'm Rosie, one of Synthesia's stock AI avatars. I'm looking forward to helping you create videos. All right, let's try the other one. Hey, I'm Jason, one of Synthesia's stock AI avatars. So they've got like uh, Asians, uh, like white people, black people, uh, elderly people, and then probably in Middle East. So let's just play these ones. Hey, I'm Helia, one of Synthesia stock AI avatars. I hey, I'm Lily, one of Synthesia stock AI avatars. You can see they've got facial uh, expressions. Their eyes will blink. They will so move in a little bit of movement while they talk. So it looks a bit more realistic. So let's try this one. This is how I sound in English. What do you think? So let's go Spanish. Así es como suena en español. ¿Qué te parece? So they've got plenty of different languages here. So you can go on their website, try it out on your own. I think they do sound very natural. So they've got male, female. Just go with the one that you want to test. So I won't play on these. You can try on your own. If we scroll down further on their website, you can see they're the number one rated AI video creation platform. Uh, it's number one rated on G2. Uh, they've got a really good support and this is not a, this is not a startup. This is a really well-funded company. They've got a big team. Uh, they're not just targeting the really like SMBs. They're actually more towards the enterprise. So they do have like pricings for personal use as well as the enterprise use. So let's get into the platform, see how this tool actually works. So when you sign up with Synthesia, this is the dashboard you're going to be working with. So on the left hand side, you can see your own account. Uh, you've got your homepage. 
in, in here you got uh, these little menus these are the videos which are the videos that you generate you create you've got the assets this is the library that they have so it contains media music fonts templates you can create templates for for your videos and then here is all the avatars from Synthesia. so i think they've i think they have more than 60 plus different avatars and you can choose like based on this male female and then sort of their uh, job positions or like their industry so this looks like a doctor these could be people in corporate these are more casual yeah these are more casual and look these are two uh, exact same people but like this is a more close-up shot this is a bit more on like with the half body so different ethnic different race depending what you need for your video so these could be like uh first responders i've got chef like the list goes on and on so there, there's got to be some sort of avatar that will fit into your use case so i think if you watch youtube you you'll probably see this alex all the time uh it's talk like this is probably the most chosen one so let's let's play this one i will choose english for this time hello this is a preview of what your video will look like click the create button to get started so let's say we do want to use her as the avatar and we just hit create video with this avatar now we're inside the synthesia studio this is where where the sort of magic happens you're you're now here you can put, you can actually type out your script so either you use other ai tools to help you generate a video script or you can actually use synthesia to write the script for you so if you want to use synthesia to write the script you actually need to go back and then click on new video so here they've got a lot of templates but we're not going to choose the template we're going to choose a generate script draft a video with ai so right here you want to put out a topic so let's say i'm going to do some cybersecurity training uh, password management 101 that will be my topic audience who are my audience uh, senior middle age non tech savvy people because these people don't really use a lot of tech they might not have good information on like you know how to manage their passwords cybersecurity, all that kind of stuff so you can keep on and see like add more so here you can choose your language or choose english for now so objective like what i want to achieve from this video so i can put in provide practical ways to store passwords that are secure teach them not to reuse password or to share your password so these could be some of my objectives i can choose a tone uh, could be friendly, could be professional. So now I'll, I'll just say it's friendly. And then if you want to provide any contest, like to provide some sort of uh, stats study. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip for this one. And then persona, you can say, oh, I'm a 20 year experience uh, cybersecurity specialist. So that's something I can put in. So with this, I can now generate the script. So it's going to type, it's going to generate in real time. If you like it, you can keep it. 
if you don't like the output you can regenerate it as well i don't think they're going to count you the number of words so if you got other tools you can use other tools to generate the script for you so that's just a preference of your choice all right so the script is now completed you can see there is now you can see there's now seven scenes in here so let's say i'm happy with this i can just go to continue in editor now it's going to populate the script in each of the scene so you can choose the layout of each scene so on the right hand side you can choose replace layout these are the default one that they've just showed you so let's say i just want the the ai avatar like this so i can choose replace scene so let's say i don't want to use the white background just select here choose your color usually i don't think a plain color would be good so what you can do is click on background media and then you can use some of these stock photos like Unsplash. These are the free ones. You can go on to the Shutterstock so you can choose uh, stock images. So I can say it's like cyber. Make it like you no know, dark, whatever you want. So maybe I'll choose this one. I can put a little bit of burr on, on the background. So you can play around with the opacity, you can crop it, replace it, and then you can also add music to your video. So again, click on music, go to shutter, uh, shutter stock, you're going to get all these different uh, stock music. So we just play one of them. Yeah, so depending the type of video you're generating, you can just choose the right music for you. So let's say I like this one, so I'll choose this. I'll just hit add. So I've got the music here. You can you can adjust the volume. So I usually just want to be really, really quiet at the back. And you can loop the music if you want. So this is the script here. So now, depending the type of language or the dialect you want. So right now it's like, it's selecting the default English in the US accent. So here we're going to play a few different voices to see which one we like. Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about password management 101. So that's the natural three. This could be the newscaster. And then we've got other dialect with Australia accent. So let's try Australia. Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about password management 101. And then we can try something like lifelike. Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about password management 101. Mm, that doesn't sound really natural. Let's try the one from UK. Um, yeah, natural is good. Let's see. Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about password management 101. That sound a bit slow, but I think we can adjust the speed. So let's choose this one. And then you can actually apply this voice to all the different scenes. So here we go. We can say like, hey there. We can put a marker here so it actually allows you to trigger for animations. What this means is like, for example, I can just make a shape. I can put it here. So at this point of time to trigger, so we can put in animations. If you want this to be fading in, fading, fading out. I'll choose the slide in just for fun. So that's how you put in like you no know, custom animations. It's like PowerPoint, right? Uh, at certain stage, I want certain objects to be flying in, flying out. So let's say you want the voice to stop at a certain places or speak slower 
or to have a longer pause. So let's say right after the as a 20 year cybersecurity specialist, you can put a pause here and you can specify the duration. So let's say you have to wait for one second before you start uh, speaking the other video scripts. And then if you don't want them to say like 20 or two zero, you can put in a uh, diction. So instead of like 20, it might say something else or all these jargons, you can change it here. And let's say you don't like this avatar for, for whatever reason, I do want to change it. You can choose circle or it's just removing the entire face or replace avatar. Then you can come in, choose the one that you like. Let's say I want this one like customer service. Then I'll put in his face. It's really easy to use. Again, you can put it in middle on, on the right. Very simple to, to make adjustments on, on your video. So you want to make sure that every scene, those words, those text or speeches really working well. So what you can do is hit the play button. So let's say you're now happy with the script for this page. You can actually hit the preview. As a 20 year cybersecurity specialist, I know how important it is to keep your password safe, especially for seniors, middle-aged and non-tech savvy individuals. So, let's dive into some practical ways to store your password securely and make sure you're not putting yourself at risk. So you can see the AI avatar's face or his mouth is not moving because we're now still in the preview space. So once you do generate this video, the face is going to be, the, the lips going to move, the eyes going to blink. So just make sure you know that during the preview, they're not going to actually generate the, the face for you. So if we're happy with the scene one, we can move down to scene two. So we can change to another avatar with a different voice. If we want the same avatar, you just need to replace all. So here we will try to change some of these scenes. And for example, we can put in, uh, let's say, shutterstock. We'll put in like password as a keyword and then see what kind of stock images or stock photos, stock videos they have. So it's like password. We can upload this. Again, if you're happy with this, you can play with it. If not, adjust it what you like. So you can get a sense of how this would work. So if we go to slide three, now we can change the layout choose the one you like. So let's say I want this one instead. So again, review your script. You can adjust the panel here. If you got a long script, which I don't think it should be too long because you might lose the attention from, from the audience. It's probably good that just like 10, 20 seconds, you need to change the scene or to at least make some of the animations inside your inside this particular scene. And do remember, you don't need to use the AI avatar in every single scene. You can have some sort of pages that is just pure stock photos, stock video. So let's say I don't, I want this page to remove the AI avatar. So I just need to change the layout. I need to change this video. I want to change it to something else. I was, I can say because, you know, Dealing with password, different password is very frustrating. So I can choose a keyword like uh, frustrated. Like this. So I can either uh, put this word here or no. I can delete it. So this will only, you can play this one. Now, you might be wondering, how am I supposed to remember all these different passwords? And then you can, you can make different transitions as well. So let's say from scene three to scene four, I want a scene transition. 
and this could be like you know fade uh, swipe down swipe up this is similar to a powerpoint slide as well so depending on on your preference like the way you want to make your video you can choose this or not uh, i don't really like to use the scene transition so i'll leave that off so i'm going to quickly just choose some random photos and random videos and i'll be right back
right we've just done a very simple video so all the scripts it's good all the images is good so let's say i'm happy so i can hit the generate button so it'll say it's 10 minutes to process you can put in the title description and to include the caption or not i'll leave out the caption and then it will generate let's see So you can see it's now being generated. You can see now it's 1%. So this might take probably 10%, uh, 10 minutes or longer, like depending how many, how many scenes you have, how much transition, all that stuff. So we'll come back to this video to see how long this takes. All right, so four minutes past. We are now at almost 30% complete. Uh, yeah, 30% completion. So with this time we can see the other stuff so using synthesia it the really good thing is they've got really good resources they'll they've got this like synthesia academy where you can learn how to use synthesia see all the uh, advanced tutorials basic tutorials like how to get into synthesia and then they'll, they'll tell you like the ways you can attract your audience so it's it's a really good platform like you invest your money, they'll even teach you how to create these videos, like get get really good engagements from your audience, etc. Like if you compare this with some of the other startups, uh, this will be a much more mature software, much more so a mature company that will give you a lot more resources than what you need. Like they've got all these webinars, they've got these uh, advanced tutorials, these ones are pretty uh, short, like you know, nine minutes, ten minutes. These ones goes into like almost an hour, like going why, like why training video fails, how AI will change how we work, hallmarks of effective scripts, stuff like that. So like a lot of good information from Synthesia in their sort of like resources once you become a customer. All right, the video is now ready. So let's see how it works. I'm going to play the play button. As a 20 year cybersecurity specialist, I know how important it is to keep your password safe, especially for seniors, middle aged, and non tech savvy individuals. So, let's dive into some practical ways to store your password securely and make sure you're not putting yourself at risk. First things first, let's talk about the importance of creating strong and unique passwords. It's crucial not to reuse the same password for multiple accounts. If a hacker gets a hold of one password, they could potentially access all your other accounts. So, always create a unique password for each account, combining upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Now, you might be wondering, how am I supposed to remember all these different passwords? Well, that's where password managers come in handy. These are secure tools that store and encrypt all your passwords in one place. You only need to remember one master password to access your entire password vault. Some popular password managers include LastPass, Dashlane, and 1Password. So let's skip forward. Remember, this notebook contains the keys to your digital life, so to your account being compromised. So, always keep your passwords to yourself. Lastly, it's a good idea to change your passwords periodically, especially for sensitive accounts like your email or online banking. This ensures that even if someone manages to get a hold of your password, they won't have access for long. Aim to change. So, you kind of get a sense how the video production is now being set up from, from, from scratch. So picking your avatar, write up your script, you know, put in any sort of animations you like, and then just generate the video. So it's pretty, pretty easy to use. And yeah, definitely will save you a lot of time as well as a lot of money if you need to hire like all these different professionals, uh, voice actors, voiceovers. Now everything could be done through AI. So if you're interested to try out Synthesia, I'll leave a link down below. 
and I'll do a few more tutorials on Synthesia and I might even do some comparison with some of the other videos I've done. I think previously I've done a product called Pipio, very similar uh, use case where you can use like AI video and create like all these like digital avatars. So hopefully you found this video useful and yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like. I know it's a bit long. Hopefully I can, I'll find a way to shorten my videos because these are always unscripted. I just, I just talk through the way, uh, as I go to see like how the platform works and how I do like, you know, everything step by step. So yeah, appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one.